Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 golf courses in North Carolina. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Golf in 2021 has resumed up where it left off in 2020, with scarce tee times and crowded courses. While other sectors of the economy were pounded in the teeth by COVID-19 throughout the duration of last year, the golf business was the equivalent of a big box home improvement retailer, with demand frequently exceeding supply. Last year, North Carolina's courses flourished, encouraged by the state's pleasant environment. The Champions and Players courses at Bryan Park near Brown Summit, just north of Greensboro, are open to the public on a daily basis. In total, 60,000 rounds were played on the two courses, up 20% from the previous year. It felt like every day was a weekend for a stretch in late spring and early summer, recalls Kyle Coles, general manager of Bryan Park. You can imagine how busy we were. In 2020, Grandfather Golf and Country Club, the state's second-ranked course, behind only Pinehurst No. 2, witnessed a 10% increase in rounds played. Chip King, the club's director of golf, notes, that was with little or no tournament play and limited visitor access. And we expect the number of rounds to continue to rise this summer. The top 10 golf courses in North Carolina are as follows. Number 10. Charlotte Country Club. There was never any doubt about Charlotte Country Club's Donald Ross pedigree. Ross developed the nine-hole course in 1915, modified it in 1925, while adding grass greens and tweaked it again in the 1940s. However, in the 1960s, Robert Trent Jones modified the course and repositioned the holes to create a practice range. Even so, it wasn't until 2007 that the club decided to reinstate the Ross design. However, Ron Pritchard, a Ross specialist, persuaded them that replicating holes from a 70-year-old aerial shot was not a good idea because golf technology had advanced. Pritchard restored all of the greens and bunkers in Ross's design, but improvised the green contours based on what he saw at other Ross courses. He also added sub-air cooling systems beneath the greens, demonstrating how far things have progressed since Ross's time. Number 9. Pinehurst. Pinehurst's no. 4 course has always been a bit of a mulligan stew. It was built in the 1950s with components from other resort courses, and has since undergone restorations by Robert Trent Jones, Reese Jones, and Tom Fazio. With a garden-like look peppered with pot bunkers, the most current iteration aimed to set it apart from the other Pinehurst offerings. With exposed sand, intriguing green contours, large fairways, and contiguous short grass recovery sections, Hansa and Wagner's new incarnation ties, no. 4 with the resort's long-established bloodlines. While it appears quite at home amid the Pinehurst sandhills, it serves as an outgoing contrast to that no. 2 courses more subdued stateliness. Number 8. Grandfather Golf and Country Club. When Grandfather Golf and Country Club was named one of the 100 greatest in 2001, we said, this is a grandfather we haven't seen often enough. A reminder of the late Ellis Maple's architectural skill. Grandfather feels like home, with its rocky roughs and rhododendron among the ever-present hemlocks and expansive greens guarded by strong bunkers. Maybe he'll stay this time. He didn't, and he stopped in 2011. Despite considerable renovation by Bobby Weed in 2016, Grandfather made it back on the list in 2015, only to fall to the second 100 greatest in 2017. Will it ever reach the peak again? Who knows, but it certainly helps, that there isn't a more appealing mountain course any place in the rankings. Never underestimate Grandfather. Number 7. Mountaintop Golf and Lake Club. Mountaintop was blasted from solid rock, unlike nearby Wade Hampton GC, a Tom Fazio design ranked, no. 26 that was rooted through natural valleys to avoid the need for dynamite. Some of the holes were carved out of the Blue Ridge Mountain slopes, such as the par 4 6th, which is bordered on the right by a 30-foot high wall of granite. According to conservative estimates, all of the rock removal increased the construction cost of this continuous 18 layout to $1 million each hole. The first tee shot drops 100 feet, and six holes are played over Hurricane Creek's deep gorge. Mountaintop demonstrates that Tom Fazio can handle any site. Number 6. Eagle Point Golf Club. A visitor remarked on the artistry of the 13th hole, when playing Eagle Point Golf Club with club founder Bobby Long, and gushed about how Tom Fazio's staff dug a massive irrigation pond, piled the earth onto a huge hill, and covered it with mature pines to make it look like it had been there forever. You're wrong, Long stated emphatically. 
That hill used to be there. Sir, this was a pasture, the club pro clarified. That was created by Mr. Fazio. Long was taken aback by the fact that he had completely forgotten what that particular portion of the farm had looked like before. Such is Tom Fazio's enchantment. It boasts several truly heroic holes, and because the Atlantic is only a mile away, it is generally windy, making drives and irons a little more difficult. Number 5. Quail Hollow Club. Quail Hollow's front nine was remodeled just a year, before it hosted the 2017 PGA Championship, which Justin Thomas won. Few golf course improvements have gotten more national attention in recent years than Quail Hollow's front nine. The par 4 first and par 3 second holes were totally demolished, and a new long dogleg right par 4 first hole was built in their place. To make place for a new par 3 fourth, several acres of pines to the left of the fifth tee were cleared. With its knobby green and three traps in front of it, it was the most difficult hole for pros in the 2017 PGA. More trees were cut down on a hill to the left of the par 4 11th to make room for money-making hospitality boxes, and even more trees were cut down on a hill to the left of the par 4 18th to create room for money-making hospitality boxes. There's little doubt that the most recent refurbishment, however hasty, improved the course. Before Quail Hollow's next big event, the 2022 President's Cup, expect Fazio to modify the difficult par 4 second. Number 4. Old Town Club. Old Town Club was a very odd course designed by architect Perry Maxwell on the heels of his work at No. 25 Prairie Dunes and No. 32 Southern Hills. It features arguably Maxwell's sole surviving double green. When Bill Corr and Ben Crenshaw were contracted to fix the bunkering at Old Town, they chose to mimic the original bunker's gnarly shapes, edges, and vegetation rather of replicating the original bunkers, some of which were massive. Many trees had previously been cut down, but the architects persuaded the club to remove even more. The 7th, 8th, 9th, 17th, and 18th holes are now connected by a single stretch of fairway. Quite unique. Number 3. Diamond Creek GC While purists may sneer at the idea of waterfalls on golf courses, there is something magical about a well-designed cascading water element. Few are as effective as the one behind Diamond Creek's par 3 17th green, Tom Fazio placed the green near the bottom of a vertical granite quarry wall, where a narrow stream of water cascades over 100 feet. Surprisingly, the club entrance drive is situated near the base of the quarry wall, effectively hidden from view on the 17th as Fazio's cart pathways are. Number 2. Pinehurst Resort and CC, Number 2. Bill Corr and Ben Crenshaw led a team that killed and removed away all of the Bermuda grass rough that had been carelessly planted on Pinehurst No. 2 in the 1970s in 2010. They created wide swaths of natural hardpan sand between fairways and tree lines, interspersed with clumps of wiregrass and scattered pine needles. To prevent grass from ever returning to the new sandy wastelands, they cut irrigation to single rows in fairways. It was a huge success as the location of the 2014 men's and women's US Opens, which were held on consecutive weeks. Golf Digest awarded the course a Green Star Environmental Award that year for its water conservation efforts. Pinehurst NOS. 2 and 4 held another US Amateur Championship in 2019, and the USGA confirmed that Pinehurst NO. 2 will host the US Opens in 2029, 2035, 2041, and 2047, in addition to the 2024 US Open. Number 1. Wade Hampton Golf Club. Wade Hampton is a study in restraint, designed when Tom Fazio was still working with the existing environment rather than rejecting it. The fairways wind their way through a natural valley between mountain peaks on both sides. Although bubbling brooks defend certain holes, Fazio pumped other streams below to make the course more walkable and playable. It was named Golf Digest's best new private course in 1987, and since joining America's 100 Greatest, it has never been out of the top 40. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.